The storm is still moving. It remains intact, also dropping an incredible amount of rain still. With where it's at now and when we could feel those impacts, here's Chief Meteorologist Paul Wetzel. Yeah, just minutes old now. This is back up to a hurricane, a Category 1 after uh, downgraded to a tropical storm as it weakened, uh, moving across northeastern Florida, but starting to wind back up, seeing a little more lightning showing up. And I've been watching the satellite imagery, too, because this is starting to pull out a radar range as it moves back out into the Atlantic Ocean. But the deeper red colors indicating uh, that that convection, those storms are starting to blow back up as this storm cranks back up out into the Atlantic Ocean. Ocean. So this is the five o'clock update. Uh, max wind up to 75 miles per hour sustained just off the northeast coast of Florida. Uh, the storm is expected through the night into early tomorrow morning to move out and across uh, the coastline here in South Carolina, where it will make landfall uh, once again into tomorrow afternoon. Uh, the Hurricane Center having that going in at about a cat one heading into the east coast of South Carolina. As for us, we're watching to see where this storm lands and it is trying to make a further north run to it as it moves into the Appalachian Mountains and heading in our direction here up toward the Ohio River Valley. So I'll go ahead and take you through the path of this on our future tracker here as we go through the rest of tonight. Of course, we're going to stay dry here at home, but watching to the south through the day tomorrow, the clouds will start spreading in. As we get into tomorrow evening, it's going to be cloudy. Those will all be clouds from Ian tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. Later tomorrow night towards Saturday morning, there's still going to be a lot of dry air close to the ground that'll chew these showers up for a while. But I do expect rain showers to build in here for our Saturday and into Saturday afternoon as we just get brushed with that northwest edge of what is left over from Ian itself moving our direction as it weakens. So the bottom line is clouds move in tomorrow. Showers develop late tomorrow night towards Saturday morning. And I do expect some rain showers with the chance of a thunderstorm Saturday into Saturday night. Then the storm is out of here by Sunday. 